Right, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, it's Greg here again with another update for me uh, buddy build me and Paula doing from the military model of Paul. We're doing the Meng Panther A early, which is so far is a lovely, lovely kit to work on. No major problems, say, apart from me, just watch the uh, suspension arms. Um, you may just need to rub them with a bit of sandpaper so the actual wheels go on nicely but not too tight in case you have to remove them. That's the only problem I've ever come across and that was with the Panther A later as well. So let's start off with the wheels so far, what we've done. Let's move these out the way. So we're going to start on the wheels, you've got the base colour on and the, um, the black tyre colour which is a couple of colours and I dry brushed it slightly as well. These all need weather obviously, yeah. But yeah, they quite come out quite well, I'm quite pleased with those. I see I bought, uh, Paul uh, mentioned that he had the Life Colours black set and I, you know, I went and purchased one, I'm so glad I did. They're varying colours for blacks is astounding. Really, I'll show you them in a second. But yeah, so that's the wheels done. Well, not done, but you know, basically. Got the sprockets, they're done, obviously, just base coated at the moment, nothing else. Same with this, with the idler wheels. I'll just pop those over there for now, and I'll show you the... Uh, the black set that I use. I think it's about eighteen pound. I think this is stuff here. And we've got so I've got six shades of black. We've got dirty black, vulcanized rubber, tire black, warm black, deep cockpit, and burnt black. And yeah, yeah, and the thick, really a lot of pigments in these paints that can be let down, and you know they work really, really nicely. So that's what's done on the, uh, the on the tires there. So I recommend getting that. I really do. I'm sure there's other, other uses for it than having the tyres. Uh, and then also I've just played the rest of the PE with the Ghost Grey. Probably won't use, some of it's not going to be used like the star antenna and things like that, but most of it will be all the little brackets that goes on the, sh on the side plates and uh, the straps for the jack block and I think it's one of the pickaxe I think, or the, or the hammer, I'm not too sure. So they're all primed in the grey, ready to be used. Okay, and we'll move on to the tracks next. Well, I'll show you these. Sure, I've done these as well with the bears, obviously, with the, you've seen the, uh, the Zimmerit, and there's two plain ones there, which is going to be probably red. There's a red oxide primer, so that's come out quite well. I've got to obviously pattern them, and obviously the rear is the, uh, Red oxide, I'm not too sure if there's any other colour that would have been sprayed on the back or would have just been the front. I'm going to have to look into that before I go any farther with those. But definitely going to put the two blank ones that's got no zimmer on as if it's just been nicked off another tank or you know spares with no zimmer in it. So they'd be bent and things like that and a bit of rust at it. And that's those. I shall just pop that back in there. Right, now let's have a look at the tracks. <clears throat> so what I've done so far, I'm going to do a standalone video of me, how I do my tracks. It's, it's really not a great secret how people do tracks, but they all have different variations on the same sort of uh, methods. So what I've done to start with, I used a grey, a German grey first. Um, let that dry, and then I used this, sprayed this through the airbrush, is the Vallejo dipping wash which is a sepia dipping wash I think it's about I can't remember, 11 quid or something and I've, I've used quite a lot but like I've had it 3-4 years and uh, I spray that on top of the give it a couple of coats one coat it dries quite fast and another coat but when you spray your, your tracks make sure you actually get in between the sort of you know where the tracks bend where you're not going to get paints, just double check that with it and then obviously keep twisting them and bending them until the paint doesn't sort of um, dry and you can but you can still gently twist them and get them loose but I would just attempt to just to just keep wriggling them about so you can see the nice colour I've got with that dipping wash and the German grey sorry I'm just excusing you two seconds sorry about that, where were we? oh yeah, the colour of the uh, the trash got that nice, not rusty, but the sort of uh, the nice colour to 
to work from obviously on both sides oops as well so gives you a nice base to work from and I'll do a standalone video on how I do my tracks and say there's nothing just a variation on most people's tracks I said they're just they're not weathered they're just painted so that's I can just let you know that they're not weathered yet they're just painted so we've got that sort of color on them now and then again I'll say one one it's enough it's not rocket science put it that way so we've got that and on the other side I've started I need to get some more black onto this it's too shiny so I need to get some black where the rubber wheels touch but uh, it's not it's not a problem I could even just um, get a paint me airbrush and just set it to us remove really really you know small pressure and just get a light mist of black over top but I'll probably use pigment just rub pigment into it until you get that black bit on it so that's those so I'll do a standalone video on those hopefully today if I get a chance today I shall do that pop those out the way and then we've got the actual tank itself primed in the yellow I'll just zoom in a second and see where we are on it so let's just take this off this isn't attached yet the barrel's still it's still loose but uh, I'll fasten it at some point so yeah so it's just the it's the AK stuff which is the real colors and it's the earth yellow and it's RAL 8002 so that's what the color is on here using their own thinners as well and it's really quite thick paint so you do, you do get quite uh, a lot of stuff out of it so that's just the base coat yeah, I've got the turret you know primer so I'll come out quite well quite pleased with that it looks okay I mean it's okay but I'll, I'll improve next time I do one there's a few mistakes and things like that but you know, we all got to learn at some point don't we so I'll uh, be doing another Zimmerit one I'll presume it's somewhere along the line but I've got the actual trumpeter tools as well but you can't use them for this pattern but uh, when I get to another one I'll use them and we'll do some more Zimmerit so and this isn't say this isn't attached here yeah i've just kept it on there we've got a nice color again on the let's just zoom back out again now oh, it's going to be out what the hell there we go yes it's got a nice coverage just gradually built up the color and even underneath you know obviously there's got to be camouflage put onto this and then the, the winter whitewash so it's a long way to go yeah um, I did put a bit of sponge inside there so you can see the glimmer of the uh, armoured glass in there for the driver. So that's in there. Yeah, so that's quite done quite well. And the rear. So a lot of work to be done yet. They say this is the base colour, so I'm quite happy with that. Let's just pop that out the way. <coughs> and we'll start on the other bits and bobs that I've done. Um, this comes with the kit, the actual beam comes with the kit because I remember building it on the um, Panther Air Late quite a few weeks, well a couple of three years ago I would say now I think it's on one of my uh, videos so I decided I'm going to make use this on the, the small diorama that's going to go on so I've just painted this again light ghost grey, sorry not German grey first and then like a dusting of um, ghost grey on top of that and then we started using washes just Vallejo paints you know like, like what do I use whites um, old wood new wood um, flat brown uh, sorry black flat earth um, burnt umber all those kind of kind of colors and I got the sort of varying tones which I'm quite pleased with so it's the thick heavy washes more than anything else so I wet blended most of them together and then I give it a coat of um, AK's uh, matte varnish. I'm oh, quite pleased with the variations in colours, seem to work quite well. I seem to have found a technique that I like, so I shall stick to it. Yeah, so that's obviously going to go on the diorama at some point. 
100% sure yet, but it's all experience in getting things right, isn't it? We've got the cupola, which is just the external cupola, the sort of the view that you get from the outside. That's all primed. Got to do underneath the uh, the lid yet on the driver, sorry, on the commander's hatch. That shouldn't be a problem, but we paint that on. So I've got that dip there. We have also done the internal part of the commander's cupola, which is, I've done it off white, I think. Was it off white? Yeah, I did a game colour off white. Just use that. Which is 72 101 off white. So I'll just use that. And I've put the armoured glass in as well, using the uh, I showed you last time, which is the lacquers, Alclad 2 lacquer armoured glass. Recommend it. And it's ALC 408. And say once you've got a bottle of that, you've got it for life. Unless you knock it over like that, probably probably would. Yeah. So I've fastened the um, armoured glass into that now. So that just pushes up inside the uh, commander's cupola, but that'll come towards the end when I actually fasten it down. So. That's the pattern. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh yeah, we've got the ammo belt ready for the MG when it's finished. So what I've done with these is I'm getting a bit closer. You can see that? We've got um, AKS True uh, Real True Metal, which is the brass. And I've used khaki uh, for the belt itself, and I haven't got no um, like brassy colour. So is it brass? I'm the colour of a darker colour, but if you can make it out, I actually use an old tin of humbrol, bronze sort of colour that I've got. I've had them for quite a while, but they're coming useful. So I've done both sides, obviously. So that's going to go onto the machine gun, obviously near the end. So that's I've done out of the way, it just needs a bit of a wash just to get inside the actual, you know, to make it stand out a bit more. Um, what else have we got? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Right here. Um, and we've done, sat it on the um, machine gun rest, and we've got the the bag there with the, um, for the spent shell casings. That's coming along quite nicely. Obviously needs all weather yet. This is just the base paints down. So I think I used Russian green or uniform for that. And then obviously I've uh, just slightly dry brushed it with I did a bit of yellow into it or white, I can't remember which one of the two, just to add right, a few edges and then obviously it's gonna take a little bit of a wash just to uh, maybe a grey wash or something like that, just to pick out some of the, the folds a bit better. But yeah. So it's okay, quite pleased with that. And then we have the jack, which has just got its... I used German grey again, I used a bit, a bit of uh, gunmetal in there, not a lot. The gunmetal to me is too shiny and too metallic -y, so I just got a little touch to the uh, German grey. So that's going to be air sprayed and then chip on the yellow colour on the top. And then obviously on top of that, depending on how far to go with a whitewash. So it's quite a nice detailed jack really. Looks going on the rear, so it's gonna be more sort of dirt and mud than snow I would have thought, but we shall uh, get there with it in the end. And then we also have the jack block, which I say I lost the actual cable that came in the kit. I don't know where the hell where it went. I'll find it when I'm looking for it. So I'll use some of the string it comes with you know kids for using for, for the tow cables themselves and I'll show you the tow cable as well and this so you see in the jack block itself and now I just used a bit of the cable the cotton you know that comes with a lot of kits so let's zoom in a bit better and see uh, wrap that around there and that was again that was painted grey two varying greys and then there's a couple of the rust washes and a bit of the metalizer powder that I use, and it's, it's, really, it's come out reasonably quite well. Quite pleased. There's a strap to go over the middle of that when it's uh, put onto the tank itself. 
Yeah, so yeah, it's come out reasonably well that with considering it's just the uh, a cotton. Quite happy with that. See, I found that see, I found that wood technique works for me. This one is slight, there's a slight variation, obviously, on it. But yeah, you get different colours for different uh, different you know whatever you want to do. Obviously, I scored into the plastic to make it more wooden look. But yeah, so that's quite uh, quite pleased with that. Also done both of the prime bows of the mug guards. What's left of them? So this one's going to go onto the front. It's going to be ninety, sort of eighty percent complete, apart from the front end, which you can see is all damaged and busted up. And the zimmer again has come off there, so that's all need to be sorted out. But I've got some uh, butterfly clips that I found in my PE, old PE bits, so that, which are going onto the bracket, which is on front of the tank on the actual picture itself. So. I will be adding those to that and this one is for the broken which is 50% broken and this is just going to be added again with the damage to the front there's no wing nuts on this part this is goes to the uh, the tank itself as well so yeah I'm quite pleased with it. I say I thinned them down again as you can see just use the dremel and scrape and whatever just to get the, the thickness down on that um, what else Oh yes, they're here. Sat on the tow cable. Still got the red oxide prime because I haven't decided where. Well, obviously, what colour is going to go on there when it's um, put onto the tank. And if you look closely, I started to do the weathering on the actual cable itself. Very similar to the jack block cable. Similar sort of thing. Greys and then the washes and then the um, polishing powder. Again, you know, it's quite reasonably well. Quite pleased with those as well. So then obviously we've got the round the ends as well and in the centre well not in the centre as such but let me just see if we can see it better with my hand in front we've got the actual you know the inside of the round it because the cable goes right round it they have not five finished but they're getting there so it's two both cables are done like that um, yeah, I was watching, I know you all probably all know Thomas from Laser Creation World, built some fast, fantastic dioramas and tank builds as well as many other things. I was watching his, um, his Panther A build, I think it's more of a late mid one. Oh, hello Bella, this is the cat. Tied up for five, quite five minutes, another cat wants me now. Come on, on my knee. So he had a ladder on the on the back of his uh, his panther, which he'd just done recently, and this was in the kit. So I've decided to use it and do a sort of similar thing we'd put on the back. Um, yeah, so come on, get on my knee then. So yeah, I've done the similar thing again, rust and chipping and all that kind of stuff on it. So I'm going to use that quite well. So that's that, and I think that's where we are at the moment. Come on, then, pussy cat, on my knee. So what I'm going to do today is I say I'll probably carry on when we do the uh, the track video. So watch out for that and she'll be out at some point. You're going to say hello, Bella. You're going to say hello. Hey? You haven't been up here for a bit, have you? You're going to say hello. No. No. Yeah. No. No. Come on. Oh, down here. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Come on then. Right. Yes. Yeah, so that's where we are, Jap. So. Thank you very much for taking your time out to view again and we shall be back shortly we say with a tight way for track video. So thank you all my new subscribers and old subscribers and you know thanks for the kind comments once again. So we shall see you very very soon with a uh, with a track video. So this is Greg signing off and we'll see you very soon. <laughs>